Jacob, it's a mess up here. There's no sign of- We heard of the Prophet's arrival in Constantinople, but we paid it no mind. The great city has always drawn madmen and pretenders to the ear of God. We heard strange tales of miracles of the Prophet, but still we did not seek him out. But then we heard him speak, heard the liquid truth of his words roll across the form of Constantine. He claimed not to speak for God, claimed that no man could. But his wisdom was plain, and not a one of us in that form could deny that he spoke the truth. I must know more about him. I must hear him again. People. Sophia might have taken them into the catacombs beneath the tower. But I've lost contact with her. All right, I'll look for her there. We're almost done evacuating the wounded here. I'll join you soon. Our ancestors came here as men and women fleeing Byzantium. They wandered into a wild that almost killed them, but they survived and found this valley. And how did they honor this gift from God? By tearing the stones from the mountains and building a new empire, a mocking echo of that which almost destroyed them. But like the Tower of Babel, God saw fit to cast us down and to make us humble. We learn to listen to the land, to become stewards, not conquerors. And in turn, the land has offered up its secrets. You only have to listen. The creatures of this valley were unfamiliar to us, once, but now they are our brothers and sisters as much as any relative of blood. You can learn much about the creatures of our valley from the hunters, but they find worth in death. We must also find the gifts our brothers give while they are still alive. In the nests of birds, you'll find feathers for the fletchers to craft arrows. Ask for what you need, and the valley will provide.
It is our first winter since the Mongol invasion. No more than one in three of us will survive. We once had marble palaces, heated by geothermal vents. We had the wealth and luxury of an empire. Today, we struggle to find enough hides to keep our children warm, to gather enough roots and berries to feed ourselves. If we are to survive another winter, we will have to adapt. If we do not, then we will feed the soil, and the animals will take back the valley. It is up to us now. Only us. Reliquary box. Something used to protect and hold relics of the saints. Anything from teeth to fingers to the entire head, this claims to be a relic of the prophet. <sighs> it's empty. Bastards are resourceful. They might have set us in a trap. Don't worry, I'll kill anything that moves. You 
beat you until you stop breathing. That way, when I ask the next... Bastards. Untie me. I'll kill every last one of them. Easy, Sophia. So much bloodshed. We're losing too many people. Maybe your people have sacrificed enough. It's all we've known. I misjudged you, Lara. Don't tell me how I can help you. I've got to get the rest to safety. But the entrance to the catacombs is blocked. I'll find a way to clear it. You're gonna be okay. I'm all right. I'll be all right. Just help us get the others to safety. Just breathe. We'll get you to safety. Just hold on. You didn't have to help us. I will it's remember it. that. This mural shows the moment they found the valley. It must have looked like a paradise. Maybe I can unblock it from here. Hmm. Some kind of armory. Hmm. This should do it. Deer charm carved from a stag's antler. It could have been an important object or a child's toy. Get clear of the door! Thank you, Lara. They'll be safe in the catacombs for now. I know you seek the Divine Source, but my people will die to protect it. Your people are already dying. You can't protect it forever. We've lasted this long. But for now, I'm glad to have you as an ally. They're converging on the tower. We still got people there. Get the others to safety. They'll need you. My father is missing. Last night, I told him of the invaders and the weapons they have at their disposal. When the sun rose, he was gone. Cyril told me he would be back, but the day is almost done and no one has seen him. I fear he may have done something rash, the old fool. We need him. At this moment, more than ever. Of course, it's a riddle. If I'm reading this right...
the flora of our valley, from the tall trees to the lowly mushrooms, were foreign to our ancestors when they first arrived. It took time and tragedy to learn the language of this land. But now we pass on this knowledge with every generation. The earth offers all we need. There is the healing herb, which you know to seek near sources of water and in sheltered coves. The birchwood of the forest, straight and true, can be gathered to make arrows. And the death caps, the mushrooms you find inside rotting logs or in dark, damp places, can make a potent poison. marking the authenticity of a document. This must have been attached to something of great import, like a writ of excommunication. I can do this.
We've got the upper hand. Elias and I will attempt to reach the far hills, where the old bear lives. Trinity is still clustered below in the old Soviet base. We will wait until the dead of night to go. It is a great risk, but we know a battle is coming. We'll have need of the medicinal herbs that grow in those hills if we are to survive the coming struggle. been nearly a decade since Katesh was lost to us. In the first years, I thought we would not survive. We are the remnant of a once great people, but we did survive. The struggle became second nature, and then a way of life. Our numbers no longer dwindle. We may never be great again, but we will live, this winter and the next. I know this in my heart, for God has given us a sign. Last night, a wild man wandered into our camp, emaciated and raving with fever. We gave him food, cut his tangled beard, and cleaned his wounds. The others do not recognize him yet. It has been too long. But I know him. The Prophet. The Prophet has returned to us. Come 
Hostile spotted. Jacob, they're gone. I fear this battle is far from over. Will you tell me more about this place? You've earned that much. Come with me. In ancient times, our prophet brought the divine source to this valley. My ancestors built the test to protect it from the outside world. To what end? What is the divine source, Jacob? An artifact from a time long forgotten. We believe it holds a fragment of God's soul. Legend tells us those who beheld the source were granted immortality. But others have always been drawn here seeking its power. Trinity. Yes. They seek to spread their darkness across the world. With the source, their soldiers would be unstoppable. Then help me find it before they do. This is not your burden. Of course it is. My father died for this. You can't feel the emptiness inside you, Lara. You can only set it free. I'm gonna find it. With or without you. Wait, Sophia, let me go. I have to do what I can. You spilt blood for us. I want to help. You know where the Atlas is? The cathedral. In the archives below. But we won't follow you there. Why? What will I find? There are others. The deathless ones. They will kill any who trespass. My father believes they will stop Trinity. I can't take that chance. I know. Here, take this. It will help you reach the cathedral. of the earth itself offer up their wealth and we have learned to survive and subsist oil bubbles up from below it can be gathered in the deep places caves dens and our ancestors tombs and it will burn with little effort in times of war we coat our arrows to make them burn deeper still you can find metal in shining veins that can be mined for their ore we use that metal to forge simple tools. But someday, we will need that metal to repair the Soviet weapons. Living in harmony with the land rarely means living in harmony with our fellow man.
Lara, if you're headed to the cathedral, Trinity will be everywhere. I know, but I have no choice. So much violence and death. Jacob's people have been through so much, yet they continue to fight. They are bound by an oath taken by their ancestors, a duty handed down from the past. But I see a people who simply want to live in peace. I believe it's time for them to let go of the past. If I can find the Atlas, it might lead to the Divine Source. I could take it away from here. They wouldn't have to suffer anymore. They could share the burden of the truth with the world. But if all this leads to nothing, I don't know what I'll do. I underestimated our enemy. Elias is now dead because of my fool's errand, and my father has not been seen in two days. We would need to be at our full strength to resist Trinity, but it seems the killing blow was dealt before the fight even began. We have the armor of our faith, but what good is it against an enemy that grows stronger with every passing generation? If we survive this time, I fear our children will not survive the next. <laughs> 